la segunda parte de Ignite Phoenix. La segunda parte va a ser enteramente en español. The second half will be delivered in Spanish. Is that okay? Jeff actually wants to get a photo. Who's the best audience in Phoenix? Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, Ignite Phoenix Slideshow Karaoke 14th edition. Matt is going to start us off here in a second. And just as a reminder, he's going to get six slides that he has never seen before. That's his job. Your job is to encourage and support, and at the end, vote for who is the most fantastic of the three. All right, everybody knows their job? Let's go. Hello. So one thing I really like is Lord of the Rings, and as everyone knows, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, they have weapons, things that need to be forged, and that's always kind of interested me, you know, blacksmithing and creating art, which, I don't know, the definition of art can be very vague, very just whatever. You can, I don't know, one, am I, I'm a student at ASU, and yeah, and one of my religions courses, we were looking at a picture of art that was somewhat, you know, I'm not really going to say what it is because it's really controversial, but it's, it was just like, really? Or how about um, the cans of, ch all right, so, see, so like this, like this, this is, this is art. This shows the depth of the soul. The bear, the bear represents the strength of life, and the strength of life is just very, the strength of life is very prevalent in this baby, and it is not in this man. This man does not have the strength of life nor hair, which, and the strength of life comes from America. And protein. And it's just very important that you get your daily dose of protein for America. And yeah. Hello, hello. So, snail art. Um, you know, making things with clay and spending time developing any kind of art is a wonderful thing. I mean, whenever you can take something that doesn't look like anything and turn it into something else. When you can build using pieces of plastic that, you know, a company put out there and eventually make something that's worth having. I mean, hello, has anybody been to Legoland? It's amazing. I mean, look at all the things that come from pop culture. I mean, we've got Legos, we got snails, we got robots that beat up on each other. I mean, really, they've got a whole thing on Sci-Fi Channel about building big old bots now and beating people up. And all of that all comes down to the artful playfulness of children. You want to be able to sit back and say, my kids had a great life learning how to <laughs> enjoy the difficulties of being children. <laughs> they have to sit back and look at all of the wonderfulness of what your parents will put you through and what we'll do to our Barbies. <laughs> because we've got to express ourselves always, whether it's building, molding, cutting off heads, putting them in tubs full of blood. <laughs> what up? So we talked about art, we talked about kids, but really what it all comes down to is money. We're all broke. We all need a few more nickels to rub together so we can go see the art, so we can pay for our kids and college and medicine and all the other stuff that comes along with it. I mean, did you see that Barbie thing? That was weird. They're gonna put people in cages? 
and start locking people up. And then they're gonna be like, oh, we're just gonna have our own little Hunger Games thing here going on, and we'll make you fight to the death. We'll put a robot in there and make that battle against you. You know, whatever, we're just gonna just wing it. We're totally going off the cuff. And then there's Nick Cage. It, you guys might not know this, but Nick Cage is actually the best actor in all of Hollywood. He's fooled every one of you into thinking that he sucks, but it's all really a giant act. And it's just proof that's his art. His art is so deep that we all think he sucks. I mean, look at this. This guy looks like he's just sitting there going, eh, I'm derpy and I don't give anything at all. And you know what? Honestly, he is playing it so hard right now that he's on a whole different level. He's a different, different universe, different, different species. We can't even hang with Nick Cage. He is as close to a human velociraptor as exists right now. <laughs> Seriously, this guy will cut your guts out with his toes and there's nothing you can do about it. He's Nick Cage, right? Yeah. Velociraptor, Nick Cage. We We've all seen Jurassic Park, that's how it works. This is reality, this isn't fake stuff. He is so smart, so smart that he's working on a level that, like, people think they get picked up by aliens, it's really just Nick Cage taking him to go get a beer. They, they don't know what's going on. He is that smart, he has everyone totally fooled and totally played. He's actually doing this right now. I think we would all agree that they were fantastic. And we want to know just how fantastic, because our sponsor, Bookman's, was generous with some gift bags, and one of the bags is more fantastic than the rest. So Auden here will uh, indicate who we're voting on, starting with Matt. <laughs> Latia. Chris Connery. Well, let's check again. Matt. Latia. Latia, congratulations. Thank you, everybody. Matt, second place, thank you. Great job, Chris. Thank you.